Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm going to go over uh, variation, direct variation, uh, inverse variation, and joint variation. For direct variation, if x and y are related by an equation of the form y equals k multiplied by x to the power n, we say that we have a direct variation this way. The reason why as x to the power n or x by itself increases, we could tell that y increases. That's called direct variation. So graphically, as x increases, y increases. So the graph is going to be increasing or going up. If x goes down in values, y will go down. And that is still direct variation. I have the notes highlighted and everything is uh, ready to go to save you some time, as you could see. For direct variation, we have y equals k times x to the power n. We call k this constant, the constant of variation. And if you want to solve for k, you just divide both sides by x to the power n. So it reads k equals y over x to the power n. The quantity y varies directly with the cube of x. What does that mean? It means that y varies directly with the cube of x, so x to the power 3. If y equals 25 when x equals 2, if y equals 25 when x equals 2, find y when x equals 6. We're going to use this right here to find k. So we have 25 for y equals k times x to the power 3. That's going to be 2 to the power 3. So 25 equals k times 8. Divide both sides by 8. We get k equals 25 over 8. That is the constant of variation. Now to solve for y here, I'm going to use k 25 over 8 in this equation. So the equation becomes, or the formula, y equal 25 over 8 times x to the power 3. To solve for y here, plug in 6 for x to find y. y equals 25 over 8 times 6 to the power 3. I could use the calculator here and evaluate that, but I double checked it's 675. 675, as you could see. And the graph shows that we have a direct variation. To go from this point to this point, we're not going straight as a straight line. It's a curve that increases. Okay, that should do it for example number one. This should be a short video compared to the last one. Inverse variation. Clearly, it says y equals k over x to the power n. Notice here, it's in the denominator. And usually when the denominator increases, the value of the fraction decreases. That's not going to change. It's always the same. If this is 5, you're saying 5 over 2, then 5 over 7, then 5 over 12, then 5 over 100. So just to give you an idea, the fraction value decreases. So as x increases, we have y decreases. That's called inverse variation. And we call that y varies inversely with the nth power of x. To solve for k cross multiply, you get k by itself equals x to the power n times y. Example number two. A tourist plans to drive 100 miles 
So that's my total distance. Find a formula for the time that trip will take as a function of the speed in the tourist if uh, of the speed the tourist drives. We know that rate equals total distance over total time. So if you drive 150 miles in two hours, 150 miles in two hours, you're gonna simplify 150 over two divided by two divided by two, 75 over one, that says 75 miles per hour. That's the average rate. Because our problem talks about rate, speed, or velocity, we're gonna use V and we're gonna solve for time. To solve for time, we could exchange these ones, cross multiply and divide by R. So that says TR equals D if you cross multiply. Cross multiply, we see it as both fractions. Divide both sides by R. D equals T equals D over R. So for our problem, we're going to say that time equals total distance, which is 100 miles over V, and that should do it. It's a quick, short example. A quantity y varies inversely with the cube of x. What does that mean? We have y varies inversely with the cube of x, x to the power 3 right there. If y equals 25, when x equals 2, find y when x equals 6. We're going to find k first, just like the previous example, then use that formula with k being n to find y. Here we go. From the first one, we have y equal k over x to the third. Here I'm going to use 25. Here I'm going to plug in 6. So 25 equals k over uh, we're going to use 2 by the way. That should be 2. 2 to the third. So we have 25 times 8 because that's 8 equals 25 times 8 times 4 will give me 100, so that's 200. Now we found k. Going back to the problem to solve for y when x equals 6, we have the following. The problem or the formula becomes y equals 200 over x to the third. That's the formula with k in, y is missing, and x is known to be 6. 200 over 6 to the third, simplify that, and you get 25 over 27. So that's this point. Inversely, that means the graph decreases as x increases y goes down that should do it trying to make the video as short as possible with my notes and highlights and comments joint variation joint variation occurs when a variable varies directly or inversely with a multiple or multiple variables. Here's two ideas, two examples. If x varies directly with both y and z, with both y and z, we have x equals k times y times z. If x varies directly 
with y and inversely with z. So y goes up on top and z inversely, so it has to be the in the denominator. So as z increases, x decreases. Now, as you notice right here, we have 1k. So we don't use for joint variations a uh, multiple of k's, just 1k. All right. Here's our last problem. A quantity x varies directly with the square of y. So we're going to write x varies directly with the square of y and inversely with the cube root of z. So we have the cube root of z. If x equals 6 when y equals 2 and z equals 8, find x, so x is missing, when y equals 1 and z equals 27. We're going to use the first point to find k, then we're going to apply that to find x. So, let's use the first point. The first point says we have 6 for x, 2 for y, and 8 for z, cubic root of z, which is 8. That simplifies to k times 4, or 4k, over 2 times 2 times 2 will give me 8, so the cubic root of 8 is 2. Simplify, divide by 2, 1, divide by 2, 2. That says we have 6 equals 2k, divide both sides by 2, and I get k equals 3. Okay, now, the formula becomes x equal 3 instead of k, y to the second over the cubic root of z. Going back to the second part right there, we have the following. We have x is missing equal 3 times y is 1 to the second over the cubic root of 27. That is 3 times 1 over 3 simplifies to 1, so x should be 1. And that should do it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.